Hello traders, good morning. Today here I am on the 18th of October 2020. It's a Sunday morning and I thought it's a good opportunity to make a quick video on a topic which I wanted to make for quite some time. Uh, this topic has several aspects, sides to it, which probably I will follow on with uh, successive videos. But the objective and the idea of today's video is, um, is the performance um, of a model portfolio which I created on the 1st of April uh, alongside the mentorship trade traders uh, performance of the community uh, and the st strategies as a whole. Um, but to walk you through this, um, this concept, to walk you through this portfolio and uh, how good or bad it has performed. Uh, it is important for me to walk you through a little bit of uh, history. I would just tell you a little bit of story of how this concept evolved. And uh, so I'll, uh, I'll use my sketchpad here to take you back to um, September 2019. Now, September 2019, is when uh, IIFL uh, launched the TT Iris software, if you remember that. I had made some videos on the software. Sadly, it's has, it has been discontinued now. They're not taking any new users. But nevertheless, it's around um, August, September. Uh, that's when I came to know about this platform. And I uh, created a separate HUF account uh, with India Infoline just to test out the TT Iris platform. Uh, I think in those videos I had mentioned that I'm going to take a year's time to evaluate how good this platform is and then I might, uh, you know, recommend or use it myself. Sadly, that didn't happen though. Um, and so I started uh, a new account uh, in September 2019. The idea is to test out TT Iris. And then those who are part of the mentorship traders community, if you're listening to me, you would know that earlier uh, we used to conduct only one um, live interaction that used to be either on a Wednesday evening or a, or a Thursday evening. And I believe it was around mid-December or late December that I, that I started conducting live market interactions. Okay? And I think that happened around December 2019 when the mentorship traders community started with live market sessions. Now these live market sessions were an, was an eye opener, not only as a trader, but as a mentor also, because now I am uh, directly uh, interacting with you, your prospective trades, uh, the performance of those trades. So not only am I learning from my mistakes, I'm also started to learn from your mistakes as well and also I'm happy when you're making profits and also equally sad when we are not as a community. And so as time rolled on towards Feb 2020, I realized at this point that there is a need, there is a requirement to have a separate portfolio which will trade through these various strategies which the community members are trading. Um, essentially practice what you preach, but don't show uh, five, seven, 10 year old portfolio performances. Don't show a capital, uh, a, a port portfolio which has a capital of 20 lakhs or 25 lakhs. It has to be aligned to majority of the uh, portfolios amongst the community members. Um, in one of my YouTube videos, I had mentioned that five to six lakhs is something that you need bare minimum if you want to start trading in the derivatives markets, primarily doing long short futures. So six lakhs was something which was back of my mind that let's do one thing. Starting the new financial year because it's just a month uh, to go and we will have the new financial year. So starting the 1st of April 2020, why not dedicate a separate account with a capital of six lakhs? and trade the stra strategies, trade the trades, trade the setups, which we discussed during our live markets. So many a times you'll know 
uh, if you're a mentorship trader and if you've been um, attending the live classes, many a time I might have missed out a trade and then you discussed it with me and I've placed the order. That was the, that was essentially the objective, the intention. And so the entire thing started from the 1st of April. It's been a few months and the objective of this video is how is the performance? What is the performance? Okay. So to keep this as authentic as possible, to keep this as uh, clear as possible, I'm going to take you to the IFL platform. Um, and over here, I'm going to log in to the trader terminal. Give me a minute. This is my HUF account. It's going to take us to the dashboard. And first and foremost, I'm going to open the ledger. And in this ledger, I'm going to take you back to September 2019 because it's important to, okay, 25th August, so 1st of September 2019 to 31st of March, and let's show. And uh, it's important for us to check this ledger and find out. So if you can see here, 5th of September 2019, the account started with three lakhs. I had put in three lakhs. And you can see it right below this, the VAS, I don't know if I can zoom in, yeah. The VAS 30K, and the, the brokerage passback that we used to get earlier with TTI, it's the same, same thing. And you can see this reversal of VAS V, this is 205 rupees was a reversal of the brokerage of that particular day. So at this stage, my idea is primarily TTI risk and nothing else. I wanted to check when I'm placing orders via the platform, does it go on well, what are the bugs, of course, new platforms will come up with bugs and that's how it started. Um, I have exported this whole thing to an Excel sheet, which is here. You can see the date. It's today's date. It's uh, 18th of uh, October. Let me zoom in. Yes. And the same thing, the 5th of September, starting with the three lakhs. Now I have highlighted the portions, if you see the debits and the credits, so most of them are in decimals. These are small profits, lost, uh, experimental trades done through TTIRS, making some small profits, gains or losses. And then it goes on, it goes on, nothing much, nothing fancy over here. Uh, come to November, I take out 133 and uh, after a few days I've put in 2 lakhs. Uh, this is primarily for some requirement in some other funds so I just took that out because it was uh, 3 lakhs was too much lying for the small experimental trades that I was doing what's the point nevertheless um, this is uh, 30th of November so the December is coming up and I thought that okay uh, let's put back again so we started with 3 let's say 1.5 is out so 1.5 add 2 more so we are talking about 3.5 lakhs uh, continues now we are in December nothing fancy Feb yeah Feb I put in two and a half more so we are in three and a half now I decided to put two and a half more so that takes uh, the capital to six now Feb I have more or less made up my mind that six uh, will start with six and um, from 1st of April we'll give it a try however we all know Feb March how the market uh, tanked it was crashing and so it was very luring for me to add the nifty bees which i generally always do and so uh, mid march i put in one lakh more just to buy nifty bees and nothing else and that's it so you can say seven lakhs and uh, i had created a separate excel sheet this is empty portfolio from the first of march 20 and uh, uh, I had considered over here 6 lakhs as the starting capital. Now I'll tell you, I should have put it 7 lakhs. That 1 lakh was not back of my mind. Doesn't make any difference. But what is, what is important here is, um, let me take you to a new page. What is important here is uh, I did not put in fresh uh, 6 lakhs and then 1 lakhs. No. Um, during the fall, primarily during the fall and earlier falls also, I've realized that mutual fund uh, portfolios sway up and down with the market. 
and over the last 9 to 12 months they have not been performing well at all. Um, so those uh, later when I had put that 2 and that 2.5 and, and the 1, not the first 3, the first 3 was fresh capital. Um, those were all a redemption of my mutual funds. I uh, transferred it to my IFL account and I straight away the very next day bought Nifty Bs. In fact, even on today's date, most of the portfolio, 95% of the portfolio is bought into Nifty Bs. So what I did was rather than parking capital, I shifted my investment from one asset, let's say uh, some uh, equity mutual fund, which was not doing much to Nifty Bs. And I used this Nifty Bs, which I had of around six lakhs. Later on, I added one more, so it became seven lakhs. I used it as margin. Most of your brokers, and India Infoline in this case, gave me a 85% margin after a 15% haircut. So if I have a lakh with it, I can use 85,000 as margin. So I actually did not put in my own capital. So you can say the first three lakhs and one and a half which I took out. So you can say in this entire seven lakhs, one and a half was my capital. Rest of it was just shifting from one investment to the other, from mutual funds to Nifty Bs. That's it. This was the story. It was important for us to understand why I did so. I did so because I wanted to be aligned, at least one part of my trading needs to be aligned with what I am doing as a mentorship trader. Uh, I will not be able to justify, I will not be able to um, answer if I am not practicing what I am preaching. Um, so there was a need for this. Number two, of course, there is always a need because uh, you would always want to join a community where the mentor himself trades, the mentor himself feels with your gains and losses so, and so it is important. I cannot feel with you with my seven year old portfolio which is lying with some other broker because that's not aligned. So I aligned the capital, I aligned with a new new account and there we go. Uh, this is the um, this is the IFL trade term, terminal and how have we been so we can consider six lakhs we can consider seven lakhs does not matter let me first tell you my approach here so my approach over here was um, to stretch myself a little bit if you see the very <coughs> starting week i have considered six lakhs as a starting capital and i've given myself a target of eighteen thousand for the week that's just three percent of six lakhs in uh, one of my old videos, I had uh, mentioned um, that long time back when I was working in Mumbai and I wanted to, um, you know, stop my job and trade for a living. How much capital do I need? And I came with a very uh, funny number and I thought, wouldn't it be good that if I can make 3% a month? That was a thought then. And the thought now with this portfolio was, let's stretch, let's see. Uh, what more can I do? So I gave myself a target of 3% a week. So if you see here, <coughs> starting capital, I've kept 6 lakhs, target of around 18,000. This is what I would have realized end of the week. Uh, this is a realized entire capital. So this entire capital will then come down here uh, in the next uh, cell over here. And the new target will be calculated based on, on this one. The target capital BCS is essentially the best case scenario and your performance for the end of the week. So this thing began on the 1st of April. Let's see the 1st of April, how much uh, returns did you make? Let's come to this. Let's go to my account portfolio realized the profit and loss summary, which is realized. And <coughs> let's go to FNO because all trades, 100% of the trades were in the futures market uh, and entire capital was put into Nifty Bs. So we'll come here, we go to 1st of April 2020 and it was a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3rd of April. Safari can't open the page. 
internet seems to be fine i think i have to reload it maybe it got logged out so not a problem log in again all right so we have logged in my account portfolio realized select fno date wise go to the month of april the 1st of april and over here go to the end of that week was the 3rd of april so 1 2 3 just 3 days show it will show us 3 4 trades yes and the net profit for that particular week was 36171 let's check will it matches with my 36171 that's the realized pnl this is my realized capital 36171 added to 6 lakhs so the new capital is 36171 now i'm be targeting to make 3% of 36171 so my new target would be 655 the best case scenario 636 see the best case scenario this one there might be a little confusion in your mind this is stand alone 3% from 6 lakhs so 3% of 6 3% of 618 3% of 636 3% of 6 so like this this is the best case scenario and the target is stretchy if i make more than 3% then i will my target will be far more than the best case scenario so i will overshoot the best case scenario in this case if you see week 2 um my realized capital was 637 my target capital was 655 the best case scenario was 636 what it means let's try and understand i have done better than the best case scenario but i have done worse than my target my target was to make 19000 i only make 999 by the way this was a very uh, eventful week for us if you remember the 1st of april uh all our intraday traders under the mentorship community we joined we traded for the whole day and um, we contributed to the pm fund the care fund uh on that particular day the 1st of april if i'm not mistaken that this this fund made around 33000 first day anyways so <clears throat> going back to the sheet this was my approach Week two was disappointing. Week three was again we picked up. Uh, target was 19k, made 18k. Tar target next target was 19k. We made I made 36k. Till this point of time, the best case scenario was 675, and the realized capital is 691. So actually the portfolio is doing better. 691 is better than 675. Portfolio is up by 15% in four weeks. Okay. Week on week, the first week six percent flat, three percent, six percent. So if I take four weeks, three percent would have is a very uh, crude way to do it, twelve percent. But I'm making fifteen percent. Now till this point, first four week goes well. Now let's look at the losses. Next three weeks we hit a loss. By the way, let's always cross check whether these numbers are correct or not. Let's check our first. Okay. Yeah. So let's check our first loss making week which was 27th April to 1st of May. Let's come here. 20 What was the date? I'm sorry. 27th April to 1st of May. 27th April. Here you go. Monday. 27th April to Friday Saturday. Friday. 1st of May. Show and minus 34020 so minus 34020 next 3 weeks we hit a loss and uh, let's say now i quickly take you so now you've got the flow i start the week with a certain starting capital my target is 3% of my starting capital this is what i'm going to try and make and based on my performance a new starting capital will come and so on so forth it will flow Uh, let's see how we closed April. April one to thirtieth April. This is now the monthly. 
and we are looking at a profit of 57,773. 57,773. This was April. Right? And so on and so forth. The performance went up and down for some time. But then I had a good stretch of profits coming in. Let me reduce this. It's just zooming itself. Okay, let me reduce for that. This is better. Now, <clears throat> let's come to May. Should we check? May seemed like a decent flattish month with some 7, 10, 19, 10. So nothing much. Let's come here and check how did the month of May behave. I am. I don't hesitate to uh, walk you through each and every month because I would want this to be as authentic as possible, so that there is no, uh, you know, doubt. So it's just a flat month. It just made twelve thousand five hundred five. Twelve thousand five hundred five. This is me. So that was me. It was kind of uh, flat. And then if you see in the month of May till the end of July, almost towards the end of July, there was a pretty good stretch of 10 weeks back to back all positive. This was a good stretch for the performance of the portfolio, this bit. And um, let's check the performance till July. So if you want, I can walk you through June also. Why not? When I'm making it uh, and I've procrastinated a lot to make this video shouldn't I spend some more time so the month of June over here has given 19696 it's 11 o'clock 19696 that was my laptop giving me update of the time and uh, July 1st of July to the 31st of July I could have easily shown you the monthly breakup of the tables but I hesitate to do that. I'd rather show it week, uh, month by month. 143.902. 143.902. That's July. Let's come to August. 1st of August and go all the way down till 31st of August. And uh, this will take me to 30.264. So 30.264 not that great and finally let's come to september we are mid-october so we'll not much get month on month clarity on that september we can come from the first of september and uh, september we look at the end was on the 25th this rose all rose i'm sorry rolls to october so let's keep it 25th of september and it gives me four rupees 34 paisa it was minus four rupees or rather than that, why not just keep it to 2nd of October? It's actually, it will 30th of September. Yes, calendar 1, uh, 32515, down, minus 32515. So, this is how the months have played out. The first negative month was in last month which was September and if you sum it up the numbers that we found from the realized PNL it comes to 4 lakhs 26 so 4 lakhs so let's go back to the IFL let's tell them please go back to 1st of April till the 30th of September show me the final number 4,2626. So I hope there is uh, no ambiguity in that. So like this, uh, it has performed. It has gone through its ups and downs. And till the end of, I'm sorry, till the end of September, we are looking at a portfolio performance of how much? 72.5%. Uh, the biggest cut I faced was the last week, which ended September around 15%. October so far is volatile. It's going up and down, but not that great. 
but i am quite sure that once this uh, this zone of uh, drawdown goes gets through i'll probably need another such good phase um, to start performing better and try and end the year the financial year with a pretty decent return now this 72% of course is calculated on the initial thoughts of 6 lakhs nevertheless we are looking at 4 lakh 6 to 6 this one and if you take it take this on a base of 7 lakhs then you're looking at 57% so the take is yours as i said it actually doesn't make much difference to me whether it's 57% or 72% why because for me there is no capital involved in this for me this is trading on the base of my investments my investments are anyways there placed and uh, it's going to go up and down uh, with the market just like any mutual fund investment does so extracting money out of money i think would be the right way to look into this so whether it's 57 72 doesn't mind it doesn't actually matter in fact this is not the right way to a uh, portray how, how beautiful the performance it is not the right way um because essentially i have not put in any capital so you can put in say 1 and 1/2 lakhs then of course the performance will just sky, skyrocket but that's not the objective the objective is not to brag um uh here about uh, how how well the performance have been no the objective over here is to showcase the possibility uh, the objective over here is um to share with you that i'm trying my best to do what i am preaching of course not the trades not each and every trade this few months have been the same i also have made uh, some human errors i've also uh, tried to be uh, ag- aggressive and lost some money in fact most of the time when i've lost money it's purely because of my own uh, mistakes and errors nevertheless um point number 1 which i want to make clear is um if we set up smaller targets for ourselves break it down make it granular like every week or every fortnight or every month depending on on your involvement in the market it's possible number 1 um number 2 document it as much as possible it's easier for you and um number 3 out of 12 months or out of in this case of mine out of 52 weeks of trade i will go through some nasty weeks uh, a stretch where the portfolio will come down but then uh, the focus should be on the next trade the focus should be on the next week the focus should be on the next month and then end of the financial year we should look to end close and this is just a dedicated separate sample portfolio or uh, set of trades uh, just to showcase that again uh, there are so many people who approach me and ask that is it possible is it true or not uh, well it is there is a method to the madness but um, if you are dedicated enough if you have the patience and the perseverance then uh, it definitely plays out let's see where i take this forward for the rest of the year so another 5 6 months to go uh, i'll keep you updated i hope this video was meaningful if you uh, have anything more um, or if you want to suggest something give me a feedback please feel free to do that um, every word of yours which is negative or positive makes sense um, and i'll try and add on to that thanks a lot take good care of yourself these are difficult times um, and trade well trade wise god bless Thank you.